circumstances go into it as well. And these people need a deportation hearing. So if this is happening with them or the families, they need to contact an attorney, contact some sort of legal advocacy group so they can have their rights in court. ICE officials say that these raids are routine. Do you agree with them? Why do you think this is happening now? Uh, I don't think it has anything to do with the executive order. Um, these two things don't seem to, to kind of relate. Trump has been doing this for a while, has been saying this for a while that he was going to do it. These types of raids are not necessarily routine, but they are legal. They can do this. The problems we have is them targeting certain individuals. If they're targeting good families, if they're targeting good people, then that's completely wrong. So do they happen? Yes. Do I think there's a connection? Not necessarily. Trump has been saying he's going to do this for a while. He just started his presidency, and these are the things he's trying to give to his voters to show them that he's doing something. And do you think that this kind of activity, these raids, will continue to increase? I, I do. I think it's going to be something that's going to be a blitz, that's going to keep going and going and going. Then I think what the Justice Department is going to try and do is they're going to try and show some sort of statistics. So they're going to say, hey, we took this person out and this person and that person, and therefore we've made America safer. Now, we need to be very skeptical of those statistics, but I do think it's going to continue to happen, and I think people need to be watching, people need to be you know, knowing their legal rights, and people really need to be there and, and advocate for themselves in this situation. All right, it's an issue we'll continue to follow. Alex Ozels, thank you. Thank you so much. Meanwhile, Edward Snowden's lawyers denying reports that 